capitalism was built in a stable government. The idea is you're miserable if you're not in a stable government. Yes. Because then you have to have a two-party system. Well, you have to have a multi-party system. And it doesn't exist anywhere now. Yes. I mean, note that the, the, essence, the essence is not the multi-party system. The essence is because, for example, uh, the funny fathers of the U.S. didn't believe there should be any parties. They, they thought everybody should run as an individual, uh, and there should be, in that sense, no parties. And that, that could be the outcome. I don't know what the outcome ultimately would be. It didn't succeed. It, they reverted to parties very, very quickly afterwards. Uh, yes, but I, I think if you define government clue, the role of government clue, you define what it's supposed to do. You put the boundaries on it very clearly um, and uh, unambiguously. And unfortunately, the American Constitution has a lot of ambiguity in it at least to our modern uh, reading of it, um, then there's still room for debate and discussion. For example, uh, how do we apply ideas of property rights to the internet? Not obvious, right? Not just something, you know, we could legitimately disagree about these issues. But the principle is applying the concept of individual rights to the internet and the principle is non-initiation of force. And now we can have a robust political debate about how we do we do that and what's the right approach and so on under those parameters. Now, will politics be a big deal? No, I don't think so. I don't think politicians will be that interesting of a profession or that important of a profession because I think that the government will do very little. You know, it may be it only needs to we, you know, Congress only needs to meet three months a year. Probably doesn't need 12 months because what do they do? There's not that much to do. Right? I, mean, the, the, I think to this day the legislature in Texas only meets every other year. They don't even meet all the time. And you know, Texas is probably the freest of the states, among the freest of the states in the United States. So you get part time politicians, you know, uh, a working man who do this in addition to their regular job. You get robust debates about real issues, about applying the Constitution. <coughs> you'd probably get some multi-party system, but maybe not. Maybe it would all be individuals. I don't know how it will all play out. But the, the, the essence to stability is two things. Getting the Constitution right, unambiguous and right. And second, having a culture in which that Constitution, um, that people believe in that Constitution. So you can have the best Constitution in the world, and if people don't believe in it, it's irrelevant. So the United States has a pretty good constitution, probably the best in the world. Not perfect, but really, really good. But people stopped believing in it 100 years ago. So and, and our schools stopped educating about it 100 years ago. And the ethics that are prevalent in the culture is anti the ethics of the constitution. And so what's happened? The constitution is slowly being chipped away and eroded at, and, and the Supreme Court keeps ruling against what the true nature of the constitution is because they don't understand it. Because they've lost the intellectual path back to what the Constitution really meant. So you need, philosophically, a culture that believes, continues to believe, that that Constitution, that system of government is right in order for 